Hey guys, Ike here from MikeSideBirds.com. Uh, this is part two in my How to Build a Bow Stand video series. Uh, probably be the last video. I may paint this thing, but this is probably pretty much all I'm going to do to it. Um, before, in video number one, all I had was basically the frame. So what I've done, I'm going to go ahead and take this bow off here. Um, I had the frame, you can hang two bows on it, and that was about it. So what I've done is I've come back and I found center on my upright and all I did was install the T and in that T I actually installed a uh, four-way T from that four-way T on this side I came out with just a piece of three-quarter inch um, like we used on the rest of it and then I just took me a piece of uh, plywood and I used screws took a couple screws and screwed right there and right there right here so I got a good solid platform that ain't gonna go anywhere I can put my stuff on it I got my release, my uh, Allen wrenches, my quiver off of this bow right here, and my drink, which I don't uh, normally drink and shoot, but right now I'm working, and I, I do work and shoot, so I don't normally drink and shoot, but I do work and drink, and right now I'm working, so I'm drinking. On this side of the tee, I came out with just a short stub piece of... Uh, Three quarter inch, and this is just kind of what I had to do. It wasn't really what I had in mind, but I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find what I wanted. So, what I ended up finding was a piece of inch and a half, uh, an inch and a half T that reduced down to three quarters right here. So, I just made me a short little stub and went to that T and put me a piece of inch and a half here, and I put me a piece of inch and a half here, and then I just put a piece of inch and a half, uh, an inch and a half cap on it. As you can see, this is only about 16 to 18 inches long. My arrows are 27 inches, so you know if you're shooting with your wife, your kid, or whatever, you don't want this to be too long so your arrows don't drop all the way down in there. So about 16, 18 inches long is going to be just about plenty. You may have to go a little shorter if you're shooting a little bit shorter arrow. Um, but that's the way I did it, and I've got me a nice little station here. Now the only thing that's screwed together, I put a couple screws right there and right here, and I put a couple screws right here and right here for the video. Um, because I'm going to take this thing all apart and I'm going to paint it. Now the only thing I'm not going to paint is this section right up here because I don't want my bows rubbing up against the paint. So I'll probably take a piece of um, insulation, the, the just black foam insulation you can get, and put right here. So I can do that, I can paint it, I can make it look pretty cool, and I'll probably put up a picture of it when it's done or something like that. I can cover that and my bow will hang on, have some insulation to hang on and not be rubbing on the paint. Uh, as far as this goes, you don't have to do this table. You can come out and you can put arrow holders on both sides. You can come in here and you can put a T in here in, in two different spots. And you can come out and you can put two different arrow holders. But nine times out of ten, I'm out here shooting by myself, so I only really need one one holder for my arrows. But I've always I'm always tinkering with people's bows, so I've always got a set of Allen wrenches, and I've always got just miscellaneous stuff on me, my cell phone, my drink stuff like that that I want to sit down. So rather than come out and have two arrow holders, I just came out and built myself a little table so I've got a nice place to, to put everything that uh, that I, I didn't need to have with me. So, other than painting it, this is pretty much it. You know, it's a nice little little tool to have. It's easy, it's lightweight. Keeps my bows up off the ground, gives me a good place to hang them. Holds my arrows, holds my beer, holds my tools. You know, you can't ask for more than that. I've got about 24, 25 bucks into it and you know, it's PVC, it's going to last a lifetime as long as it doesn't get ran over or shot. And with my model, with these tees, uh, four way tees right here on top, I even built myself, myself a paper tuner out of it. So, um, a lot of cool stuff you can do with PVC other than just bow stands. And I would love to see what you guys are doing. Uh, I'd love to see your bow stands. I'd love to see what else you're doing out of PVC as it comes to related to archery and hunting. So, um, if you got some suggestions or you got some cool stuff you want me to see, I would really like to see it, I'd like to see what your ideas are. You can email me at ikesoutdoors at yahoo.com. And for more product reviews, how to videos, you can check us out at ikesoutdoors. Excuse me, I almost gave you my email address again. Um, you can check us out at ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.